Hello everyone, welcome to Xinhua Live and my name is Yan from Xinhua News Agency. So right now I'm at the Yanqing district in Beijing. So today we are going to discover one of the villages for the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics and Paralympics. So let's go. So I just said one of the villages. So why should I say that? Because according to the different locations of competition zones, uh, three villages have been established for the 2022 Winter Olympics. The Winter Olympics and Paralympic Village of Beijing 2022 will provide full-time service for athletes, coaches and officials during the game. Uh, I think total is about 53 days in the three competition zones of Beijing city proper and here Yanqing and also the Zhangjiakou respectively. Uh, so the Yanqing today we are arriving here is a district located northwest of the city proper of Beijing. And so today we come to the Yanqing Winter Olympic Village. Uh, we know that athletes for Super G, I mean the Super Giant Slalom and Dunghill will come to live here. And so uh, we can see it's really convenient for them. Uh, the athletes can just take the ski cable car from the village to the center. And also, see on my right hand is the China National Sliding Center. So it's quite convenient for all the athletes, coaches and officials to get each of the stadium. Okay, and also we can see that here we're on the square of the village. Uh, here we can see some heartwarming equipment uh, like this one, the zigzag passage. So uh, for those athletes in wheelchair, they can be easy to move, move everywhere. And also on um, this way, on my left hand, we can see here are elevators on the ground. So the Winter Olympics and Paralympic Village of Beijing 2022 will provide full-time service for athletes, coaches and officials during the game. Uh, that is to say 53 days in total in the three competition zones of Beijing city proper, Yanqing and Zhangjiakou respectively. And Yanqing is a district located northwest of city proper of Beijing. Uh, the Winter Olympic and Paralympics Village of Beijing 2022 in Yanqing is composed of 20 residential buildings with a total construction area of 330,000 square meters. So we can find that the village is located in the mountainous area in Yanqing district of Beijing. And the Winter Olympic and Paralympic Village of Beijing 2022 in Yanqing is composed of 20 residential buildings with a total construction area of 330,000 square meters. Yanqing Winter Olympic Village is scattered among the mountains and forests in the form of groups, with a total of six residential groups in one public group. The residence group mainly serves the residential function and the public group mainly serves the integrated service function, which will provide athletes with comprehensive services such as competition equipment, maintenance, catering and leisure. We know that the Yanqing Winter Olympics and Paralympics Village is divided in two parts. And first is the residential area, so is to say that is to say for athletes, coaches, and fishers to rest. And the other part is the operating area, so just like this building. And also, oh here we can see a tree. And what's special of this tree is like to protect the ecology, the workers uh, protect those trees like to keep those trees in place to make sure that the ecology around here the environment are not being damaged and also uh, not in this one but in other trees we can see some also the birds nest in the trees because that uh, they are built by also by the workers Okay, we know that one of the advantages of the Yanqing Winter Olympics and Paralympics villages is its eco-friendly construction. So first, let's take a look at this wall. 
and what's sacred it contains. It's like doing the construction of the village. Workers collected materials locally and put smash stones into the steel cage and build this wall. This not only reduces the waste generated during the construction, but also saves costs to some extent. It's also a practice, we can say, of a Green Olympics commitment. So now we are in the building. For those who just start watching our shows, I would like to tell you that here is the Yanqing Winter Olympics and Paralympics Village. So here is one of the athlete rooms. Okay, so let's check out what kind of detail can we find. Uh, this one is the room for the Paralympics athletes. So here we can see the door handle is relatively lower than that of the ordinary room. And also here we can see the bathroom, it adopts the sliding door, so it will be really convenient for disabled. Here when we get in, we can see uh, here's the tower shelf and also the bath equipment and also the faucets are also put into a lower location. So if you use a wheelchair to get in and get out here, it'll be really convenient. Also, it has some handrail for the Paralympics athletes. It's really a heartwarming design. Okay. Let's go other places to check it out. So now we are arriving in one of the athletes rooms. Here we can see many elements of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics like this one, the bed runner is pretty and this one, can you guess what it's originally be like? It's this, let me show you. This is the pillow and with the signal with it and uh, so when you open this pillow, it will be turned to this blanket. And also here, we can see some details. These patterns are all the events of the Winter Olympics of the Beijing 2022. It's so amazing. And also here's the secret of the bed. Let me show you. Here with this remote, we can make the bed to transform. So if I am an athlete, I would like sitting here when I when I like going to sleep going to bed maybe like this flat but when I want to uh, like I would like to read something I just push this and you can see that yeah we can adjust the bed into different angles so maybe this place I can lie on it and read my books and when I want to watch the TV just keep moving it. Yeah, it's pretty high-tech stuff. And also, as I said, uh, the main structure of the Yanqing Olympic Village uses ultra low power technology for a comfortable environment by maintaining the indoor temperature between 20 Celsius degree and 26 Celsius degree and, rel and a relative humidity between 30% and 60%. Besides, it also adopts passive house windows that have a lower heat transfer coefficient, perform better in thermal insulation 
and consume less energy. Okay, let's see. So we know that amid the pandemic, the COVID-19 prevention is really important part of the village. So to know more about it today, we are honored to invite Miss Hu Bingling to tell us more about it. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you too. So first, would you like to introduce yourself to the camera? Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm the deputy manager of the public health service system, Yanqing Village. So nice to meet you. Ah, 那我们首先想了解一下，啊，那运动员来之前，他们需要经过一些怎样的手续才可以登机入境呢？呃，首先他们需要下载一个叫冬奥通的 app， 然后呢，在上面进行嗯健康监测的填报，然后呢，他们需要有核酸检测阴性的报告，然后他们才能登机入境。Okay, so she said that uh, first those athletes have to download an app, special app for the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, and then they have to uh, record, I mean, the upload some uh, information of themselves, like health conditions, and also have to provide the negative reports of the nuclear acid test, I mean, the PCR test, and then they uh, can get a permit to, uh, to take the board of the plan. Yeah. 啊，那么在呃，他们呃登呃登机落地之后，他们需要哪些手续才可以来到我们的呃冬奥村呢？嗯、呃，他们在落地的时候会进行简单的一些监测，比如说体温要正常，呃，要小于三十七度三。然后呢，他们不能有些其他的健康异常状况，比如说他不能呕吐呀，也不能腹泻、咳嗽。呃，然后呢，他们就可以。呃，今天进行一个简单的这个在机场做第一次的这个核酸检测，他们不需要等待核酸检测结果，就可以乘坐专用的交通工具先行到达延庆多奥村。啊，好的。啊 ，so she said that, uh, uh, like after last l i s t landing in China in Beijing, and they have to do some like simple test of their health conditions at the airport. And if like anything like okay like temperatures or if uh, they are not vomit and they can just uh, uh, to take on the designated transportation to the village and after they get the negative re result of the report and they can uh, just do other procedures of the games. Yeah. Uh, 那最后一点就想问咱们呃在呃赛期之间会。给他们提供哪一些呃检测的服务啊，以及他们如何才能在赛后安全的离开呢？嗯、呃，在赛时呢，我们会每天给闭环内的这个运动员和工作人员提供核酸检测。呃，然后呢，我们同时会对环境还有一些物品进行核酸检测，呃，确保大家都是阴性的。那离开就是他们需要什么样的证明才可以离开呢？呃，运动员离开之前呢，我们会提供四十八小时内的核酸检测阴性的纸质报告供他们登机使用。呃，在运动员离开中国以后呢，我们会建议他们继续做健康监测一段时间。然后，如果在健康监测这段时间内，他们有其他的一些，比如说呃核酸检测呈阳性了，或者其他的一些相关的症状，他们可以继续联络他们的这个新冠疫情联络官，就是 CLO。联络他来跟我们反馈相关的信息，以便我们帮助其他和他密切接触的人员。好 ，Okay, so it's like during the games, uh, uh, like the committee will provide a every day's PCR test service for the athletes, and also they will do some ster sterilization work to like every corner of the village, and uh, after the game, uh. If uh, like the, all the athletes also have to take the PCR tests, and if they get the negative reports within 48 hours, and they can just go back to their countries. If like any uh, special conditions occur, like they have the positive uh, positive results, and they will uh, the committee will help them to contact. Like their contactor, uh, like who, like a CIO, C C L O C L O, 嗯，新冠疫情联络官。Yeah. 
Oh, yes, yeah, so they will contact to the CLO and to report a certain conditions of them. And if they have to uh, undergoing to some necessary treatment here and after they get the final uh, a negative results of the PCR test, they can leave China. Thank you. Thank So with all the necessary management and technologies adopted, we believe that the Yanqing Winter Olympics and Paralympics villages will provide an ideal place for all the athletes, coaches and the officials. So the live today is about to end. If you want to know more about the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics and Paralympics, please subscribe our channel and there are more information for you to discover. Bye bye.